Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In previous video, we made demonstrate how to use JNI Java Native Interface to connect C++ and Java. The example we demonstrate in previous video, which is uh, invoke from Java to call a method which written in the C++ program. In this short video, we are going to make another example which from the C++ to call back Java method. Here on the Linux, we continue using preview videos. We start from the Java, which is called my test gni.java. So we, in this Java, we have my class which is my test GNI class, and we have a method called a CPP method, which get the parameter is a string called a message, and the return is a string. So we declare as a native, which means this method will be written in C++ and compiling into the library called my test. And we use the load library utility to load my test into this Java object. Mm -hmm. So in this, class, we add a new two new things. First, we add a member variable, which called, we name it a value, and its type is a string. We create a method, which is a void set value, which gets the message while, and we set value of this member variable. And then we can go to in our main function, and we just add this. After we instantialize our instance, call my object, and uh, then we call this um, method, call my cpp.method, and uh, in this method, later on, we will be add a uh, access, the invoke this uh, set value method, and uh, set the va this value with a string we pass from C++. So we call this there, and we print the result of my method return message from the CPP method, and then we print the value of this value after we invoke this CPP method to see what we set through this CPP method. So now this is our Java program. We save this, and we compile this. So we use the Java C, and we use the minor h option, which means we are going to generate the header file for CPP Pro. You can see we both generate the .h and .class file. This is for Java, this is for the header file, which is for our CPP. So we I our CPP file. So let's see the, our header file generate. This is the header file generate. The function from my class method is the CPP method, which is a signature with a parameter, which is uh, parameter is the string, and the return is the string. So this is the, and when we automatically generate the method, and we have two variables, which is called the G, G, I, even, and the environment and the J object. This is uh, have to be generated automatically, and this is the third parameter, which is our method. Method is the string. So let's uh, go back to our CPP. So first of all, because we're receiving the string of this method, so we first convert uh, this uh, string using the env get string utf chairs method. And this is the GMS, which is we receive from the parameter of this method. And the GNI false, it means we are not going to copy. And uh, this method takes two parameters. First is the G message, G string. Second is the G boolean, which have two values, G false, GNI underscore true, which defined inside this GNI dot H. And this is the header file we generated from the Java C minor H, which is a link between the specify this method, which is a link between Java and C++. 
And because of these times, we are going to have a new method, which is called a set value. So what we going to do first, we are going to do is to convert it to class. So it's called a J class. It's called a, it's called a this workout E N A gate object class. And this one have one parameter. It's the J R B J, which is we get from the parameter automatically generated. This is the class. After we got this class, what we have to do, and uh, we have to create a method, which we got the method ID, which is the get the method ID, which is the type is the J method ID, which using the gate method ID. This is, this one has three parameters. First is a, this class, which is a J class. Second is the name of a method. And let's see what name is there. We have this Java. So the name of method called set value. So the so name of method is set value. This method take a one parameter, is a string. So this is the specific a string, which is, uh, and so we got the G method ID. And we want this method, which is set value. So we have to pass this uh, J string. So the J string, we call the message, which we go using the new string UTF. And what we set, which says the message called hello from CPP method. We try to pass this, and then we call this, invoke this method. We using the call void method, which is the object from this uh, Java. And the MID is the method ID, and the MSG is the J string because this method uh, set value receiving the message and the string, which is have to be using the J string. So after we call that, the field of this value will be set up with the string. So now we go into do we. We try to get the field. We got the field ID is using the type J field ID. We call the FID, and we using the env gate field ID, which is of this class of our class, and the name of field we call the value. And if we look at the Java, this is the value of name of field, and uh, then the, it's, uh, this field is the string. So this string, and then we got a J string, we call the wow, which is the, from this environment, which is a gate object field. This is a field ID, so gate object field, return the value of this field, which is the J string. And so this object, which is from this object, field ID, which is we declared, it's the ID na name, is called the value. So then we use and convert this to standard string. We use the env gate string utf chairs, like we convert this g message to the string to the message. So then we print out this message, which is the value of this Java uh, member variable. We indicate where we printed. So then we return to our message. This is uh, from previous video. So in these times, what they say, we convert this class from this object using get object class method. And uh, from this class, we get the method ID, which is the method is a set value. And this set value need a message. So we convert it to J string called message. Then we call the call void method, which we call the void method because this one is the void method. So which object, which is the Java object, method ID and the message. And this is where we invoke our this set value method and update the value of Java, uh, our class. So then we get the value called the field ID. Using the get field ID method of this class, the field ID name is the value and the field is the string. So because it's string, we get the string from value, which using get object field, object field ID. 
and then we print out what we get, convert this J string to the standard string print out. So now let's save our C++ program. We make make our library. So you can see we build our library. We have built our class header file. So now let's uh, try to run. You can see now we throw our main. We start our main, and we pass the message. Uh, hello from the main and we print out from the CPP method which we are written in the C++ and then from the CPP method we send a message hello from the CPP method to the set value invoke set value method and we updated the value of a field so we this is the value of a field is a hello from CPP method which is when we pass from this uh, CPP. Then we return this method, is returned from CPP method, and this is uh, printed it back to the Java. And uh, when we print the value of a uh, field and at main, it's uh, s where we set up from CPP. So in this uh, short video, you know, we demonstrate how from the C++ to access our Java method set value update our variable from the Java class and we also can access this value from C++ program to print it out. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks to watch my video. Hopefully this is useful, enjoyable. It's going to be great to have your feedback.